Hey there, I'm Nicole. Welcome to My Yoga Time. Today I'm very excited to share with you a tailor-made, professional, easy to use, at home, cupping massage and ball set. So cupping massage has been around for thousands of years. It's been practiced by the ancient Greeks, the Arabs, ancient Egyptians, in traditional Chinese medicine, just to name a few. Obviously the cupping tool itself has evolved over the years. What's unique about the set that I've put together for you is that it's a blend of the silicon cups, which are easy to use and don't involve the um, high risk flame. And there's also one glass cup here, which has got a rubber end. Um, now the difference between the two is that this one is a lot gentler, so it's really good to use on the legs, which can be quite painful, the IT band for example, and also the abdominal area. So included in this cup, I also have a massage ball and there's other tutorials which you can check out to see how to use the massage ball. Today's tutorial is just on the cupping set. So I have been practicing cupping massage for over 10 years now. I have been trained in both silicon cups, glass cups with the flame, and I personally believe that every household should have a set of cups. Obviously, they're not going to replace the need for your professional therapist, whether that be your massage therapist, physiotherapist, chiropractor, or whoever, but these will help to mitigate general aches and pains and also promote the healing recovery time after injury. And this is due to the increased blood circulation, therefore reducing inflammation, toxins, improving the removal of metabolic waste and the flow of lymphatic fluid. So with this comes more oxygenated blood through to the body, therefore more energy, prana or chi. So not only releasing sore muscles, tight restricted fascia, it's also therapeutic for scars, cellulite, stretch marks and can loosen and release adhesions as well. The cups also will relax the nervous system and therefore therapeutic for anxiety. So I hope that you enjoy the cups as much as I have. As mentioned, I believe every household should have a set of cups. I keep mine on my bedside table and they are used frequently. So let's unhinge the body's matrix. So before you begin the massage, use some massage oil, even coconut oil or olive oil will do the trick, just so that you can glide those cups with ease. So choose the size cup that best suits that part of the body. So I'm using the larger one here to begin with and I'll just place it down the lower back while I work on the shoulders. So when you're applying the cups, obviously that lip there needs to have full contact with the skin. So fingers just next to it and just pressing the thumb down to remove the space from inside the cup. If the suction is too strong, just pop your finger underneath and release and you'll see the skin gets drawn up in the center there. Now you can begin to just slide the cup slowly, but if they get stuck, if there's resistance, just leave them there. The cups are pretty intuitive. So we'll leave that one there for a few minutes. Now, when you're using the cups at home, I'd recommend not having them in the one spot for more than five minutes. Certainly if you're seeing a trained professional, they might leave them on for much longer, even up to 20 minutes, but for at home use, five minutes is enough. So while I'm leaving that one there, I can just place another one on and work on the other side. Now it is completely natural for the skin to go red as we're increasing that blood circulation. And sometimes you'll have um, markings or cup kisses. Some people think that they are bruises, though many cupping therapists would argue that they're not bruises as such because they don't always come up. Um, they usually come up when there's something going on. So if the color is a deep purple, then that can be a sign of deep blood stagnation, which is expected after uh, a long time injury. If the discoloration is more of a, a gray color, then there would be lack of um, energy or prana or chi in that space. And occasionally, very rarely, there might even be a slight yellow discoloration, which can be a sign of, of phlegm in the body. Now the markings, if they do come up, they can last for a few days, um, sometimes even up to a week. And it's considered that for as long as the marking is there, then the healing is still taking place. So when you're leaving a cup in the one spot, 
Don't just take it then and then start to slide it because that can be quite painful. I would release the cup first, give that part of the body a bit of a rub. And then apply the cup once again and roll over that same spot. So in terms of moving the cups, you can go uh, in the same direction as the muscles or cross fiber as well. And sometimes it can be quite nice to have a cup either side of the spine and gently slide them up. So if we're wanting to target the fascia, the connective tissue, then we need to move the cups very slowly. How does that feel? Yeah, feels great. So just to get into Estelle's shoulder and neck a little better, I'm going to get her to roll onto her side. So the little cups are especially good for the neck. And you could practice this with um, your person sitting up in a chair as well, other than laying on their side. And it can be really nice as well to work over the sacrum, moving laterally. Does that feel okay or is that sore? No, that's okay. It's sore. Tight, that yeah. So for many people, this area will be tender. Uh, and with the cups, it's a fine line between good pain and the bad pain. It shouldn't be really painful. So do talk to your patient, if that's what you want to call them. Um, and if it's too strong, then ease off the cups. And you might find that the first few times that you're just putting them on stationary and not moving them at all. And then in time, you'll be able to start moving them once we free up the fascia. And of course, if these silicone ones are too painful, then revert to the glass cup instead. So those two cups have met a little resistance. I'll leave them there. And I can use another one up and down the spine once again. Sometimes with the little ones, instead of popping the center down with your thumb, it's easier just to squeeze it in. And to wash the cups after use, just do so in hot soapy water. So using the glass cups on the legs, simply squeeze in the little bulb. And I'm just gonna trace a rectangular shape moving down. So just moving down to the crease behind the knee and then moving across and back up again. So we can trace over the same rectangle maybe three or four times before moving down a little. Once you've traced those rectangles, it can feel quite nice to move the cup in a zigzag motion from top to bottom. Now 
So if you were looking at putting stationary cups on and not sliding them, you can use the silicon cups on the legs, but certainly for any movement, I'd be using the bell cup. To help with reciprocal inhibition, you can also put on the static cups and then encourage your patient to engage their quad so they'd pull up the kneecap. Do you want to do that for me? Can you feel a difference there? Yeah. Yeah. So by engaging the quad, it's going to encourage through um, spinal reflex to relax the hamstring or lengthen the hamstring. And then moving to the IT band along the side of the leg for many can be quite painful. Um, generally feels a little better if you do the zigzag motion as opposed to just moving straight up and down. Tight IT band can contribute to lots of discomfort, particular knee ailments. And the beauty about the bell cup as well is if you're on your own, it's an easy one to use yourself if you're wanting to place it on your back or on your shoulders. Um, and if you're doing your quads as well, you can use the normal silicon ones or the bell cups for those. And if you're wanting to invoke that reciprocal inhibition, then you can sit on the edge of a chair or on the table and then practice taking the leg back and then bringing it back up so that you're flexing and extending the leg. And that will deepen that sensation. So I would only use the bell cup on the navel and I'm going to start here up in between the ribs and just move three times down one side and then three times down the other. With the easy to use cup you can do your um, navel on your own, you don't need someone else to do that for you. Ladies, I'd avoid cupping the navel during menstruation, maybe a little before or at ovulation time. And then moving in a clockwise direction, start on the right side down the bottom towards the hip and then gently going upwards. So I'll do that three times and we'll just overlap the area. So this is especially good for um, digestion. It's good for constipation as well, helping you to clear out. And then moving over to the left side, we'll go down three times. And then feel free to move in a circular motion clockwise so you're working in line with the body's natural rhythms. So moving up on the right hand side and then across, is that okay? And moving down. So again, if there's any pain or discomfort, stop moving the cup or lighten the suction. Don't push through. And for many people, they can be tender where there's a scar. So I'd avoid cupping over directly over the scar for at least maybe six months after surgery. And then I would only use the bell cup. So for example, say Estelle's got a scar here, I would start by massaging it first, find a circular motion, 
And then when you take the cup on there, don't slide it, just pop it on and then release it. So it's quick, just on and off, moving up and down where that scar is. So do give the body just a light massage after you've applied the cups in that same area. So I'm just going to place one silicon cup here and I'm going to keep that one still just below the knee and then I'll use the bell club for sliding. And of course you can do either side of the shin bone as well. This part of the leg's quite easy to do yourself. So do be very attentive to the cups. Notice when they slow down, when there's a little resistance, hold it there, don't push through. And be sure to give that spot a rub before gliding the cups over that same spot once again. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the tutorial useful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a question in the comments below. And you'll also see a link below where you can purchase your own My Yoga Time cupping set. Have a lovely day.